Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we're talking about how you could repurpose your wedding dress after wedding day. Before we dive into this topic, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, let me know if there's any topics or anything you'd like me to discuss for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer. I wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal, located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, please be sure to follow at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert on Instagram. This week's video was inspired by a subscriber who wrote in asking, Hey Nairi, love your videos. I'm wedding planning at the moment and your tips were invaluable for my outfit. I was wondering if you could make a video about altering wedding dresses after the wedding so that they're wearable in other situations. Dyeing them, different colors, changing the length, etc. I am considering doing this with mine, but I don't know how feasible it is or what limiting factors I might consider. Thanks. Love this question because I actually have a lot of brides who really do repurpose their gown after wedding day. For my cousin's wedding, she wore a fitted mermaid Ines de Santo gown and what she ended up doing once her first daughter was born, for the christening, she decided to one, lose weight to be able to fit back in the dress post baby and she cut the dress short and made her daughter's christening outfit out of the bottom of her wedding dress. Obviously since she cut the dress short, she also did that so that she could wear that dress for the christening. So it was really sweet and super sentimental. Beautiful way to rewear her dress again, a different variation of it, and repurpose the fabric for her baby. There are so many different things that you can do. That's just one example that I know personally I've seen done and it's really a beautiful thing if you're able to reuse it. I also have a bride who is a singer. She does a lot of singing on stage and various events like that. So when she actually bought her wedding dress, she thought, oh my goodness, I could actually dye this and wear this at one of my performances that I'm singing at. She actually recently contacted me asking me for places in which she could use to dye her dress. My recommendation if you're interested in dyeing your wedding dress is Renegade Dye Lab. Natalie is absolutely incredible. She is definitely the person to go to for dyeing any gown and she will tell you what can and can't be done and she's such an innovator. She may even suggest something that you have not thought about yet. In terms of limitations, there really aren't any limitations. This is an opportunity for you to get creative and figure out a way in which that you'd be able to rewear, reuse, and repurpose your dress. I am a huge fan of doing this and highly, highly, highly recommend it. Those are just two examples that I could think of off the top of my head that works really, really beautifully. So I hope that you consider this as an option. I'd love for you all to write in and tell me what you decided to do after your wedding day, and that way I could circle back and share more ideas because I think that it's really, really incredible to be able to reuse and repurpose versus storing your dress in a box and letting it just sit there or even selling your dress. So I think that this is an awesome opportunity if you so wish to take advantage of it. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like this, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will see you in next week's video.